holder of the hidden. In a city where you have had no previous contact with any holder or object, or more importantly, any close encounters with them, find yourself an empty parking lot at midday. Once there, find the uttermost middle of the lot. Sit on the ground no matter how hot, and count the seconds that pass. Concentrate and be careful, because if you lose count or miss a number, your flesh will be incinerated by the sun, and your soul shall descend in the deepest torment chambers of hell. When your count reaches two thousand, and nobody appears, you are no longer in the world you came from, no matter how unchanged your surroundings. In this no place, the souls of former seekers who have, like you, failed, will mangle your body and your soul will join them in unending, hate-filled lust. Should a short, pudgy man appear from around a corner, follow him to wherever in the city he will lead you. Enter where he enters, ride the subway, and get off where he does. Finally, when both of you are in a secluded part of town, he will turn to you angrily and shout, Why are you following me, seeker? You must not answer this question, however strong the desire to answer is, for you will become the next holder of the hidden. After waiting for an answer from you, and not getting one, he will turn and sink into the ground. With him, the city you are in will vanish. You will reappear in a deserted amusement park. Pay no heed to the empty eyes of the carnival rides and stuffed toys and dolls that stare from empty stalls. They are opportunistic demons and will grab at you and your quest will end in this godless place. Instead, walk to the large building that identifies itself as a hall of mirrors. It should have a giant clown's mouth as its entrance. Follow the course of the hallways lined with mirrors and try to find one that is even more bent, warped or distorted in every way than the others, but will still reflect a clear and perfect image of your body. On the ground at your feet should be a doorknob. Pick it up and reattach it to the mirror in front of you. Be careful and do not break the mirror while doing so, for as your reflection shatters, so too will your body, and death will be no refuge in this desolate place. Upon opening the door, you will find a small room where a large teddy bear will have been placed. Its fur is of a bluish color and otherwise looks as if it was new, other than its noticeable lack of the buttons that made its eyes. Speak only the question, who hid them all? Repeat the question seven times, and you should hear a language unlike any you've encountered on your long journey. It is said that the voice sounded like broken glass grating upon each other. This voice will speak to you of all the seekers who have failed, the evil they have committed, and the evil that has befallen them. One by one, the histories will consume your mind until you no longer wish for your journey. Should you hold out, however, speak. I must reveal the secrets. After these words leave your mouth, the stuffed bear will slowly disintegrate and with a final shriek, vanish. Inside of its desiccation, you will find a blindfold with the embroidery. They must never come together. Ever. Wear the blindfold over your eyes and walk out of the room. You will experience a falling sensation, but do not panic and take the blindfold off. There are few accounts of those who have taken the blindfold off their eyes in fear. All are unpleasant. Softly you will land and again you must count the seconds. It must be the exact number that you have counted to before. Two thousand. Do not be impatient, as any less will have you begin your quest for the holder of the hidden again in a different city. The blindfold is object two thousand of two five three eight. 
Blindness is the silence of sight. This is their hiding place. Pray that you never stray from the light of creation and into their realm.